Hi hey everybody, it's Bob Boob. Hey, this is the beginning of the tour. We're doing a video tour here today of 426 River Mill Road Extended. This is in Lake Cumming County, Nippenose Township. This place is pretty cool. It's got like 155 acres. Uh, this is my son, John. Every, John, say hi to everybody. John just hates being on camera. But uh, I just wanted to show you, this is the entrance right here. Ding, 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 ding. Just uh, when you come to check out the place, you, you see this gate? You are there and just move forward. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. All right, so we're here at the house right now. And you can see here's the home. It actually has an addition, which uh, actually could be a whole separate uh, in-law quarters or an apartment. But and we'll, and we'll show you that inside here. I'm just kind of giving you a perspective. Now I'm actually facing south here, and on the south side of this property is where you actually are on the state forest land or state game lands. I'm sorry, one of the lands that the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania owns. Of course, you can see here there's a big garage outbuilding here. And again, I'll show you some of these things here. I'm just kind of just giving you a quick perspective. Now here I'm facing north towards the Susquehanna River, but look at that view. Now I'm here in the morning. You can see there's a little overcast, a little fog going on there. But normally when that's not there, um, miles and miles you can see across the, uh, the mountains there. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous view. And then, of course, that's the entrance road coming in. So let me do this here then. Let me... While I'm outside here, I'm going to show you a few things that are on the outside here. Getting big, big building, metal roof, large garage area. You can see in here it's, uh, I guess it would call that post and beam sort of construction. This is an oversized garage door. Six. I'm going to guess that's about 11 foot. It might be off just a little bit. And then you can see it goes all the way through. So you can drive straight through the garage area. Um, little workshop area over here. Let's see what we got back in here. Yeah, pretty cool place, huh? Now you're located out here in um, Nippenos Township, uh, which is in Lake Cumming County. This is part of the Jersey Shore School District. Now, at one time they had some sheep, I think in here. So we got a little, little area there for animals. But I wanted to show you upstairs here in this place. So Jersey Shore School District. Um, again, look at the look at the view. I don't know. Can you guys hear the rooster in the background? Uh, he's like, time to get up, people. But this is a interesting area here too, because uh, this again it just has all the windows. So you can just come up here and, I don't know, hang out. I personally think it would be a good area to continue to finish off and maybe have a studio or a, an office area that you could work from. It just, again, gorgeous. Uh, that's if you have children you don't like, you can put them in there. Just kidding. In case anybody from children and youth is listening. So as we're, now we're over top of that uh, garage area. As we step up in here, this is all floored. Tremendous amount of storage space up here. Here you can see where that taller garage door was. This is where you get the height coming from that. Of course, there's a double door here if you do need to get things from the outside to the inside. Get a little better look at that metal roofing underneath there. But pretty neat, huh? Let me show you here. So in here, we're looking out towards the entrance. Okay, so let me do this here. Let me push pause and I'm going to take you to some other places. Be right back. Okay, so now here I'm on the, so here this is going to be the north side of the house. I'm facing south <laughs> on the north side of the house. You follow me on that then? So this way is south. This is the north side of the house then. But uh, I want to show you back in here. It, it just is just a neat, tranquil property. Uh, my gosh, if you just want your own little piece of heaven on earth, this place is it. Of course, there's that garage we just looked at. So we're heading west here now. But now there's a spring up at the top of the hill here. That's what uh, can feed the property here. Um, and you can see then they've kind of created their own little stream here. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, that's where the water's coming out. And they've got their own little like mini pond right here. This is pretty, pretty cool. Here, just kind of showing you the outside of the garage. 
has that batten board look. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't notice that before. That's like one of those. Yes. Good morning, madam. Or sir. That's a sir, probably. There's a, one of those frost-free um, spigots. But uh, big carport bank barn, different names given to these. Uh, this at one time, they you could set up their stalls. But we've got one, two, three, four bays here for equipment and whatnot. And then, of course, here, um, I'm actually facing east, or this is the west side. Now, there is a right-of-way that comes right through there and goes uh, this direction on the property uh, to the property that borders on the west side. Uh, that doesn't get used very often, as you can tell from the over overgrowth there. But, uh, yeah, isn't this just neat? Real close to Interstate 80 to 20. So, depending on where you travel to, um, Williamsport is real close, Lock Haven is real close. But I think within a two hour drive of where, well, we're actually in what they call Annis Fort PA. Annis Fort PA, back in the day, there actually was a fort here, pre Revolutionary War, actually. But uh, then Jersey Shore, Pennsylvania became the established in the bigger area. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. And um, what was I trying to spit out there? But I heard a statistic that we're about two hours away from huge population, New York City. Um, uh, that's maybe about three hours for that. Uh, going to New Jersey, Baltimore, just uh, close to a lot of different things. I wanted to show you here, we have a greenhouse, but yet you get here at this property, you are just solitude. So here's the greenhouse area here. Pretty neat, huh? And then, let me think here, what else? So we do have a couple other outbuildings. Oh, there's my son, John. There he is, he's waving. All right, guys, I'm going to push pause and we'll be right back. Okay, I guess while I'm outside here, I'm going to continue showing you the outside. Uh, we'll go inside the house real quick. So now I'm on the east side of the property. This is looking south towards the state game lands. And you can see you got a beautiful parking area here. A couple more outbuildings here. We have an outbuilding there. That actually has a basement to it. It has area underneath it. And then, of course, here you have a, another garage or storage building with a carport. So it is outbuildings galore here at this property. Galore? I'll show you spell galore, but that sounds like a good word. So yeah, let's um, yeah, let's go take a look inside the house. And okay, let me push pause and get the door open. Okay, guys, uh, now I've got a set of boobs here with me. Then this is my son Josh Boob, and my son John Boob is behind the camera. John, can I see your face? No. Nope. Well, <laughs> well, 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 text me and we'll send you a picture of what John looks like. But here we're actually on the porch, Josh. Um, John, I guess to your right. Now, again, I've been telling the audience previously, that's the north side of the house. That looks toward uh, the river. And then, of course, the opposite would be south, and that's where the state game lands is. But one of the reasons the owners put this deck on here is to take advantage of this view. And if you listen there for a second, what do you hear? I'm sorry. I had a lot of coffee this morning. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, if other than yeah. your indigestion. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, no, nothing. Just birds. Just, just nature. Birds. It's just quiet, isn't it, then? Of course, you got a large parking lot area over here, and um, I guess John, this is something pretty cool over here that um, we should show the audience. Here we have a area that they created for themselves, like what they call the hot tub area. I have to double check and see if the hot tub is included or not included. I failed to ask that question, but if even if they take it, it'd be a good area to put a hot tub. Now this is screened in, so you can sit in here and not have to worry about about the bugs. And, and it's a lot cooler in here too. So if you were Yep. I imagine if hot day like we've been having, absolutely would be a good cool spot. Shaded, but yet cool air going through. Nice spot for kids to sleep in the summer, too, if they want to sleep outside. This is all. So, I guess, John, I guess what we do, we'll take them, maybe and take, uh, go inside the house. And I'll show you guys around here. Big, big 200 amp service coming in the house here. That's the meter there. And, and toi. Now, when you first step into this house, what, what you're having, like, I'm going to call it the mudroom area, but <laughs> I feel like that doesn't do it justice because we have cathedral ceiling, we've got tile floor, we've got lots of storage. 
You can see some of the old stone there that they kept exposed. I mean, there's a lot going on in this area. And John, I'll just let you kind of. So the first thing I'm picking room. up, it seems like it's almost two houses. So what do we got? Like a it, little uh, it, apartment over here? how you want to do it. There is an apartment over there. And we'll, we'll show, show the audience that. Actually, we can show that next then. But so it could be an in-law quarters or separate apartment or, uh, you know, husband and wife don't really like each other. I was like just going to say, husband yeah, and wife, maybe yeah, put, yeah. put one one area and another, another area then. But we have the laundry room here. So first level laundry room. And, uh, and this, I like this wood look. This is the wall of switches. I think there's 30, <laughs> 32 switches on that wall, John. Would you count there, I guess? Well, check your math, but that's about right. <laughs> All right, I might be a little high, but yeah, let's go upstairs and we'll show them. Now, audience, earlier I was showing you that greenhouse. So where the greenhouse is at is right here. That's on the south side of the property so that it can get the best sunlight coming east and west. Uh, John, do you know which direction the sun rises in the morning? Very good, John. Oh my gosh, I did not know you knew that kind of stuff. So yeah, John, I'll just let you kind of walk around and show the audience the area a little bit. But uh, this is like a I call it like a combination living room kitchenette sure. area. These appliances here, they're going to leave with the sale. Has its own breaker box over there, and you can see here, I don't, John. I want to show the audience that see how there's a set of steps that you can actually pull down and there's a loft bedroom up there. Oh, they pull down. That makes way more sense. How, yes, just, how yes. do you climb up there? <laughs> uh, and, and actually you can just have them down and keep them down then too. But that uh, is a pretty neat space saver though. If you, oh, if you just, that, what a cool idea to put those steps like well, that. Well, and you've got such high ceilings here. Like I'm six foot. So geez, you're, you're probably 13, oh. 13 plus feet. Oh yeah, absolutely. To there, and then plus then the cathedral part. And I guess John, show them where they can put it in here. This is the bathroom. Shower unit in here, oversized shower. Looks like that must be a four footer, which is good for people that are space challenged like me. And Josh, I gotta let you kind of show them back in here, then show everybody what we got. Well, it's the first I'm seeing it too, but we'll uh, well, we got a bedroom back here. Yeah. Oh, with another little loft area. They put a ladder up. That is pretty neat. Yeah, so in, in theory, you really have three sleeping areas here. You have the two lofts, and then you have what we'll call the bedroom area here. You really got like cabin vibes here oh. on, on this entire house, but especially this side and what that goes out to the deck where we absolutely. Um, yeah, John, show, there. again, guys, the, the view that you get looking north here is just absolutely spectacular. Yeah, wow. I really like what they did with the layout of the house, having the front of the house uh, facing the river. And then you get some privacy in the backyard. Well, you know, I asked the owner, uh, what's a couple of things that you have loved or going to miss about this property? And the answer was the view, the seclusion, the privacy, you know, that sort of thing. And, and, and I get that, you know, when you've had this for all the years, they have it. And then you realize this is something very special that you really can't find, especially in this market now with the inventory being so low, it's really hard to Extremely find. Extremely low. There's nothing for sale. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, audience, what, we're going to push pause real quick and then we'll take you down to the main house and we'll be right back. I know you've been in real estate a long time and I haven't been in real estate as long, but I'm going to lean and say this is the kitchen. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud. <sighs> John, he's, he's getting better. You keep working with him, John, then, you know, uh, All right. John's been in real estate just a little bit yeah, longer. A little so longer. I, he's I, done I, good training you then. <laughs> so you're right. We are in the kitchen um, and you can see beautiful countertops. Uh, look at that. I think it's a, some sort of a granite or that is, that's hard surface countertop that's beautiful double double sink stainless steel uh dishwasher so dishwasher stays yeah but other appliances in, in, in here, here do the, not. that's correct the stove and refrigerator uh, will not be included the one up in the little efficiency apartment i, I hate to even call it efficiency it's got three three sleeping areas yeah uh, the big efficiency apartment but uh, you'll see wood floors again it, it, you're, at, you're in, in the middle of 155 acres of complete seclusion and privacy. Um, and you know, this is nice. Would, you got the three quarter bath off your living space here. So your, yep. your guests don't have to walk through your bedroom areas for, for bath. This is, that's exactly it's nice. They put this in here. Yep. And then, uh, yes, John, you show them this here. This is uh, so what I'll call the main or the primary, primary yeah. bedroom. And believe it or not, <laughs> As John is scanning the bedroom there, well, a couple things that I noticed was lots of sunlight. Uh, yes, windows. That was the first over. thing I caught. Was another thing I like about how they designed this house was it's got plenty of sunlight with the windows, 
but all your windows are private. Yeah. You, you don't have neighbors looking in at you or nope. You notice. I guess the, you got chickens looking at the, you. The, the chickens are looking at you. And, and when I was doing the video earlier, then they were tackling at me. Um, but you notice no curtains, which at first seems weird, right? But just as you just tapped on, nobody can see except maybe the deer or the, I don't know, squirrels that are looking in. Now to John's right here, this, this is all built in. This is a big, huge unit. Um, th this is absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. oh that's a yeah. little, little door area there. This is all stain. Now the little baskets won't, the owner will take those, but they kind of act like drawers, but that has their personal stuff, but you could just pick up some new baskets at, uh, at the store for there. But then you still have a closet area. Really, really nice room. So as we continue on our adventure here. So the closet, closet here for the closet video? Area. My closet is nice. nowhere near as organized Absolutely as that. Absolutely not, yeah. nope. <laughs> I, and I guess John will, let you walk ahead there into the dining area. And you can see it's a big open concept. So your living room, your dining room, your kitchen, your dining at all. So if you're having a large get together, you can have kind of your sections where people sit, but yet the skylight's still... really nice right over your right over your kitchen area. Oh, yeah. and that is yeah. very nice. I kind of forgot to point out that feature. On a natural light. And I guess they call it the skylight because you can see the sky. Is that the uh, yeah? You know, there? a little bit of a stretch, but I could see I how you'd get I there. I yeah. know, I know. You know, I'm very, very smart realtor. Now, wood burner here, Bob. I take it we got the uh, yeah a wood fireplace, fire, and wood fireplace there. You can burn wood in, and of course, you have a gazillion lifetime supply of wood on site. You have 155 acres of woods that you can get all your. <laughs> Matter of fact, you could build several other houses, I'll bet you, from all sure. the other lumber. Get yourself one of those sawmills and just start cutting away. Matter of fact, a lot of what you see, these outbuildings and the house built on the, the wood has come from the property. That is yeah. so neat. That is just so cool that they were able to do that. So what, then we got two bedrooms back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And up above Josh's head, that's a pull down for attic for storage. And then a couple more bedrooms on this end of the house. So this would be the north side of the house. So. This would be the and knotty pine board all the way around the property or the, the room rather, even on the ceiling. Got a little, little bench area there. Yeah. And then I think yeah, just a closet area in there, John. And then here, John, I'll get out of your way and show them the other bathroom. So we really have what three, right? We got the one in the uh, in law quarter areas, we have that bathroom we just showed them in this one. So we have three. Oh, uh, we got three and a quarter, but I'm going to let that quarter be a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to show you where a quarter bath oh, is. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I'm going to let that be a place. surprise. Now, as you can see, they use this as an office area, but really would be another another bedroom, depending on the, what your needs and your size of your And I'm kind of stepping in here, so maybe you can get a little size uh, of what it is, but it is a good size room, especially if you didn't have these desks right. and tables in here. What do you say? You're about six, three tall. I'm about six, three. Yeah. So yeah so I had to give up that D one basketball <laughs> scholarship, but, uh, no, no. Probably, what? probably a good 11, 12 going yeah, that way. Yeah. And she's probably 16, 18 going that way. The it's ceiling fan. Way. Those are always nice to have in your, Very in your nice. bedrooms. All right. I'll tell you what, John, let's do this. Um, guys, we're going to go down in the basement. We'll show you some of the utilities and stuff. We'll be right back. Okay, Josh, you have a surprise for me? I found the quarter bath. This is it. This is a so we got a three and a quarter bath here. So I guess you come in the basement and you don't want to run upstairs. You got a place to do your business. You just can't be modest if you're gonna when nature use calls. It. Uh, I find steps are the enemy. You gotta have one on every floor. But nope, this is a nice actually nice a good have. work table here or grooming. Yeah, pets, dogs, whatever, or just want a little more workshop here. There's just so many there's so many spaces in this house, huh? As we come through here. You'll see this is all the utilities. We have boiler, several different zones on that. Um, got the wood. I, I want to say that does wood and coal, but I'll have to double check on when that. When I opened up and smelled it, it smelled like wood to me, and I saw wood oh, around the corner. Okay. But I do believe those also do coal. Um, and if uh, just before we go past here, I wanted to point this out. The sure. UV light. They have a... Uh, for your water treatment, oh, you have the just ultraviolet. Make sure there's no cooties in your water. That's yep. always smart to. So for anyone who doesn't do know, that. if if you're using uh, well water, it this treats the water as it comes into the property, shocks it immediately, gets all bacteria out. So this is going to give you great water all the time. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, and you can see here we have block foundation in this part of the house, and over there would be your 
Looks like that's the expansion tank uh, bringing in for the water and looks like the pump there on the top of it maybe. And mm -hmm. then uh, real fancy smancy on demand water heating system. Um, that's a REM, REM, R H E E M. I would just say that, John. I would say REM. REM, 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 REM. And they're part of the panel box then. Getting big 200 amp service. And then we continue around here. I don't believe these freezers are staying either. Um, and then, of course, just to kind of give you some perspective of where we're at, this then brings you out. There's an, another garage area out here. So here we're actually underneath that deck that we started in from the, and I, and I guess we'll just keep going here then. So again, another area you can park your car. You could walk in the house there and you would be, especially if it was a rainy day or winter day, you didn't want to have to mess with that. And then here we are again with this, with this view. What do you think guys? Let's see, I showed them that. I showed them, we showed them the house. So what do you say? You're probably five to seven minutes from Wise's. You know, you're, oh. you're really close to town, yep. but you got really no neighbors around you. There's nope. a, some, some coming in on the road uh, as you're coming in that you can wave to. But once you're back here, nope. nothing, this no is, neighbors. No, this is just quiet. It's your own space. And so I don't know. Well, you got the roosters and the chickens that will be talking to you and seeing all the time. You might have a house to sell. Maybe you question on financing. Then please reach out to us. Any of the. Uh, the, the boobs would be glad to help you. Our office telephone number is 570-321-0544. Um, you can leave a voicemail. Uh, you search us out on Facebook. You got John Boob, Josh Boob, Bob Boob, a uh, bunch of boobs on Facebook. Uh, reach out to us there on Messenger. We'd be glad to get a hold of you. But thank you very much for watching the tour. Anything else? Guys? Yeah, and John? we have lots of documentation on the place. We have a seller's disclosure. The seller filled out all details on the property. We have maps, all kinds of stuff. So don't hesitate to reach out. Text us if you want to see a copy of any of those things. We can shoot those right over to you. Sounds good. Anything else? Okay. Thank you, guys. All right, you guys have a good day then. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay. We are in the garage area here. There was an area that I failed to show you earlier here in the back. So this is going to be on the west side of the property. Let's see if I can get some lights. No, I won't be able to find the lights since I want to find the lights. But big room here. This is probably, oh, geez, 6, 12, 15, 16 by... Oh geez, this is gonna be a good, about 18 foot room here. So different uses you could use this for. And there is a furnace here, but I apologize guys. I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you a good picture of this, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do when I get done doing this video. I'm gonna take a couple pictures with flash and I'll have those online for you then. Okay, thank you guys.